So hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make grabbing for your 2D rag doll. And so the first thing you're going to do is make some hands. So yeah, and it's just going to be an empty game object with a rigid body, a circle collider, 2D, and then you're going to make a grab script, an arm script, and that's all you need to make. Then you're going to add the grab script to your hands and then add the arm script to your lower arms and your upper arms, like all the parts of your arms. And then, yeah. So then, let's start making a script. So first, the arm script. So you're going to need an int and call it speed. And this is going to be equal to 300. And the speed is going to be how fast um, the arm rotates to the position or the rotation that you want it to be. Then you're going to make a public rigid body RB. So public. Rigid body 2D. And then a camera. And then we're just going to do a public key code and this is just so you just need to do this so that you can have different inputs for different arms so you can choose which arm you want to control so public key code and if you want to make both of the arms um like grab at the same time then you can set the key code to the same thing for both arms um so public key code mouse button And then we're gonna make an update an update void so void update we're just gonna do some stuff to make it point towards the mouse your arms point towards the mouse when you click so vector 3 vector 3 player pause equals new vector 3 and then the first thing which is the x is going to be camera dot camera dot screen to world point so screen to world point input dot mouse button No, I mean mouse position, the dot mouse position, and then we're going to do a dot x, and then, oh wait, no, we have to put the dot x out of here, so dot x, and then comma, and then we're going to do the y, so it's like the same thing, we can just copy and paste this, so. And then comma and then command v dot or it could just be zero because it's 2D so there is no z and then just zero yeah okay so vector three different Player pause minus transform 
select a position. Also, um, I've actually, I've actually changed this ARM script from the download that's in the description and the download that you downloaded in the last video. And so, yeah, like, it's different and it's better, um, yeah, because the last, my old one, um, wasn't very good. So, yeah, this is different. So, we're going to do if input.get key mouse button. So, if you're pressing the button that makes your arms go and work, um, if input dot get key mouse button then you're gonna do rigid body dot move rotation math f dot lerp angle and then we're gonna move these things and then rb ro dot rotation rotation z so Wait, never mind. I forgot a line, so we're gonna need we're gonna also need a float and then rotation z. We're gonna call this rotation z. Rotation rotation z and then it's gonna be equal to math f so math f dot And then difference dot x difference dot x um minus difference dot y and then um it might not be the same this might this line might not be the same for you if you have a different ragdoll than me because my ragdoll my ragdoll's arms are rotated. 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees so like yeah if yours is different then you might like want to play around with like switching the difference dot x and the difference dot y around and like making some like minus or not minus and yeah but this is how it works for people who have ray dolls like mine so then let's get back to here so rotation Z. Then by speed and then times time dot fix delta time. And this is just so that it's not glitchy or anything but slow and stuff so like yeah save this wait i forgot this one thing so we have to actually do times math of dot wait wait what no math of dot okay now it should be working so like command p And now if I left click, you can't, yeah, just rotate towards it. But we can't pick stuff up yet, and we want to be able to pick stuff up, so, yeah, and this arm works too, if I right click, and then, yeah, we won't be able to pick stuff up, so, I'm just gonna, we have to do the grab script, so, we're gonna have a private bool, and then, it's gonna be hold public key code mouse button and 
and these are going to be same, the same as the arms that it's attached to. Also, um, we have to attach the arms to the the um arms and the hands. So you just use a hinge joint, and like yeah, and the length and the limits are just zero zero because you don't really want it to rotate. And yeah, that's just the hand. Also, for the walking and balancing and stuff, I have tutorials for those, and you should watch those. And yeah. So like, yeah, let's do this now. So void update. Okay. Input dot get key. Hold equals true if you're pressing it. Hold equals true. If you're not pressing it, then hold will equal false. Um, then we're gonna destroy the component. Fix join 2D if it has one, so destroy because we want to get rid of the fixed join if it's not holding it anymore. So destroy get component and then fix join. Just need these real things. Join to the um so then on collision enter two D on collision enter two D then we're just gonna call this call because it's shorter and then we're gonna do if hold equals equals true so if it's holding then if hold we we'll just if told um then RB rigid body RB rigid body to the RB equals call dot trans call dot transform dot get component get component rigid body 2d so we're getting the rigid body that of the thing that we're trying to grab so and then we're just gonna make a fixed joint with it so then and we're gonna do if if it has one. So like if the thing we're colliding with has a rigid body, then if RB two D or just RB because that's what I named it. RB um is not null is not equal to null. So it has a rigid body then we're gonna um make a fixed joint between it so like yeah fix fix join two D F J equals transform dot game object dot add transform dot game object dot add component
one component type of type of fixed joint. So, and then as fixed joint. as fixed join to you. So yeah, then we have the, we made the fixed join and then we just need to connect it to the thing that we're trying to hold. And then, so like, fj dot connected body equals rb. And then, yeah. So then, oh, so it, we're gonna make an else so you can grab like walls that don't have rigid bodies and stuff. So like else, else fixed joint three. Yeah, we sh we're just gonna do this, but except without making the connected body. So it just like sticks to that point and it'll like work, but it won't be pulling on the wall or anything. So like yeah, save this. Go back into Unity, and then wait for it to load. Okay, I'm going to select the hands, and then actually all we need to do is put in the mouse button, so for the right one, it's going to be right mouse, so mouse one. And this should be the same as the arms. If it's not, then like it should be, wait, I went too far. No zero. Okay, let's try this out. And you see we can pick up these things, these boxes that I made that have rigid bodies and stuff. And you just have to make sure that everything has what? And then, yeah. We can like grab this too. 